I just stepped back onto my food truck from an urban farm. We're gonna make the classical favorite, French crepes with ham and cheese. It's super easy, I'll show you how. With the food truck, I mean, she just came, got her stuff, and then, you know, from fresh from farm to table. Talk about food miles, pretty much a couple hundred feet, I guess, <laughs> you know, from our property to the food truck. Join me as I take the best of urban farms and cook it up right in my food truck. Welcome to the Downtown Farmer. I'm your chef, L'Oreal Gavin. We're your farmers, the Darvais family. I'm making ham and cheese crepes today. So, let's start making some crepe batter. What do you say? We just need a couple ingredients. So I've got farm fresh eggs. I actually met the chickens that made these eggs for me. Thank you very much, Miss Chicken. Say hello to Adele. Adele wants hello, to say hello, Adele. Everyone. What's up, girl? I love me some chickens. Uh -huh. When she's laying, she'll actually tone really, really red up here. That's because she gets a lot of sunlight. They absorb the sunlight through here. Mm -hmm. As soon as she lays an egg, she comes out of the house uh -huh. completely pale. Uh -huh. What it is, is they take this red color and they put it in the yolk of the egg. That's what makes the egg yolk so yellow when they've been out in the sunlight. That's so cool. It's magic. So I've got a big mixing bowl right here. When I make batters and things like this, I prefer to have room temperature eggs because they're actually easier to incorporate. Gonna give it a good whisk. So we've got some melted butter going on in the pan. We're gonna put it right into the eggs. It's not crazy hot. We're not making scrambled eggs, you guys. We're making ham and cheese crepes, okay? So we're gonna add in our flour. Food is all about love and just taking a deep breath. It's okay to mess up. Just relax, we're here to have fun, you guys. So we've got our flour. I'm gonna add some water too. I'm whisking here to incorporate all of these ingredients, but not so much to the part that I'm gonna turn it into a bread. I want a nice, loose, liquidy crepe batter so that it easily spreads around the whole pan. You don't need a fancy crepe spinner, you guys. People have been doing this stuff for years without all that fancy kitchen equipment. Gonna add a little bit of cream in here, otherwise known as Moo Moo Juice. And I got this amazing ingredient. Meet your new best friend, lemon verbena. So I've got some set to the side, and I'm gonna crumble it up right into the batter. By putting these herbs directly into this crepe batter, it's gonna make a beautiful window pane effect, you'll see. So we're giving it a little stir. This crepe batter needs to rest for about 24 hours. I grew up in Florida, we had 10 acres there. So now from 10 acres to a 10th of an acre, it's a big, big difference. Our family has touched a lot of people by just inspiring people what can be done in such a small place. 80% of the world's populations are in cities. So if everybody, you know, try to plant something or do something to improve their environment. You know, not only are you sustaining yourself or you're putting nourishing food in your body, you are reducing your impact on the environment. It's all good for just good all around. I'm gonna start making the crepes. I've got my saute pan on medium heat and I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the crepe batter. You wanna coat the pan nice and thin. Often the first crepe or two might not be that beautiful. That's okay, guess what? They still taste good. So we're gonna let that side cook. We don't want it to cook too fast. It's gonna start to bubble and change color. And then that's how we'll know that we need to go ahead and flip it. Give it a flip. We're keeping this on medium heat. We don't want the crepes to get brown. We just want to cook them. So we've got some creamy Swiss cheese. I really like this Swiss cheese because it has a subtle nutty flavor that's really, really lovely. So our crepe is looking good. So I've got this big old ham right here. This is a bone-in, butt-end ham. So I'm just gonna start cutting off pieces of ham here, nice and thin. They're gonna fit perfectly right into the crepe. And I'm gonna go ahead and set those on the flat top so we can start to get them crispy. That's what you wanna hear. Who doesn't like crispy ham? So here's how I'm layering up my flavors that I want in my crepe, but you can do it any way that you want. Swiss cheese. I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard. The flavor profiles of this stuff is absolutely classic. I can't think of anything more French inspired than some ham, some really lovely cheese, and some Dijon mustard. All day, every day, making crepes in the food truck. I'm building sandwiches to go over here, French style. We're gonna put a fried egg on top of this and then we are on our way to enjoying a delicious crepe. I've got my favorite local greens right here. I've got some curly bitter lettuce mixed in with some Mizuma. Delish. So let's build this crepe. I'll show you how it's done. Just like that. All right, so we've got our fried egg. Looking delicious. Gonna put a little salt and pepper on there. The pepper just looks beautiful on that bright yolk. Thank you, chickens. I always gotta thank the food and where it came from. Now we're just gonna fold it up. 
there you go. Orders up. <laughs>、Cheese、crepes. That's what's up. I took your favorite breakfast items and made them to go. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave questions below, and I'll answer them for you. I'm Chef L'Oreal Gavin, the Downtown Farmer. Thanks for watching.